happened was we uh, lost it through drinking debauchery in the 1860s and uh, we um, bought it back in, in 1989. It got quite tricky because it took us about 13 years to get planning consent, the original consent, which in fact had been opposed by 32 different consultees, so it was quite a tricky, tricky thing. But it was an amazing amount of people who didn't want to see it uh, restored. I uh, just wanted it to remain an aspect, you know, like in, you know, like Coher and Castle up in Loch Hall, just a sort of ruin in the landscape, which I don't believe should happen. They should all, buildings are meant to be lived in and have a useful life and are probably better maintained as a, a living, lived in property. George, my son, that runs the restaurant, does all the weddings, we we're saying, well, how can we offer this um, to the public? And with income, you know, with reasonable income, and the Airbnb is a very good model from the point of view. So you, can, you can get fairly good coverage, um, and um, uh, yeah, that's what we would like to do. And as I said, we've got one or two inquiries, but we're just getting it out there slowly. You know, we're building eco houses on this state, which uh, again is another enabling development, but the, quite exciting because uh, these houses are so efficient that you know your computer almost heats them. They're amazing. Uh, so we're quite excited about that. We've got planning for distillery, uh, boutique distillery. Um, trend is for gin but we would look long term for you know, small whiskey distillery and it's all to do with making the offering for the estate so people can come and stay here, they can do the castle tour, they can do a whiskey tour, they can play golf, it's trying to build the whole uh, offering. I know it's a bit cliche but I was trying to look a bit like my mini Glen Eagles. I like finding out about things and it's interesting to know who was here before and I mean you find things every day like the, go down to the basement and there's the, as you go out the bottom door you can see there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a shape in the, in the stonework and that's where they would sharpen the swords before they would go out. And uh, the stable outside, it's like a, there's a door that comes up into the solar there which goes down into uh, a cellar which was really a stable. So we jump off your horse, uh, put it through the, in the winter and put that in and just jump up the stairs like an in-house garage <laughs> for horses. <laughs>